Alrighty, so the Coleman hot water heater on demand. Uh, I don't know if this is a revision before the green model or if this is the same as the green model. I would assume that the pumps are probably the same. There's another video of a guy saying a common failure with these guys is the water sensor that you gotta blow out. Other than that, I guess there's a fuse in here somewhere. There's another video. Oops, I'll put the other two links in the description in case you're having alternate problems here. Uh, I received two of these from somebody who was going to throw them out. Uh, they had used them and uh, they just basically stopped working. So I kind of wanted to show you why I managed to get this one to fire up without the pump connected. So that kind of told me that something was happening either at the pump in, in that kind of circuit. Did some tests with things and after it fired up without the pump connected I tried directly connecting the pump up to my power supply with uh, this guy here and it uh, shorted out the power, the power supply so just dropped the voltage straight to zero basically and Ambridge went way up. Since I have two of these we took a look at both of them, swapped the pump over and same thing. So I checked the other pump with the power supply and it was shorted too. So this appears to be a sealed unit appears to be because uh we cut the other one open now if you're going to purchase coleman stuff you better hope the pump doesn't look like that after using it because it's not going to last very long if it does so i can Pretty much guarantee that this pump is exactly the same. A whole lot more dust has fallen out of this beforehand. But uh, the seals aren't good. Somewhere somewhere along the line, yeah, we have hacked this one apart to uh, give, you a, give you an idea of what has failed here. But these pumps are about 50 bucks, I think, at least Canadian. Yeah, that's just no good. So if you're having an issue where you hook it up and it just says low battery, uh, you know the battery's good or it, it just doesn't want to work at all But if you unhook the pump and then it uh, it wants to fire up and do stuff and then sh shuts off because your water sensor doesn't get any water You probably have a bad pump. I'm just gonna go to the princess auto grab a new pump and uh, What I'm going to do is because I do believe this is six volts. I did I haven't checked that I will have to check that and uh, once I do have an update on that I'll leave it in the description Nobody reads the description, so check the description for any extra info that uh, may have been added here. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to end up cutting this off, and I'll probably run this to a relay. So this will go up to a relay, which will turn on a 12-volt pump. And not as easy to get 6-volt pumps around here, and uh, I might as well just get a 12-volt pump, and then I can run this off the 12-volt battery in the shack, because that's all the... All the six volt battery in there I think was being used for but I'll, I'll keep I can keep the six volt in there for electronic stuff we can turn on the relay with the six volt which will turn on the 12 volt pump so it's just running these rope wires to a relay and then connecting the new pump up to that so should be a fairly simple job to do but I just wanted to show how bad these Coleman hot water on demand pumps are I mean there's there's a seal problem somewhere definite seal problem and they are a sealed unit so there's there's no fix in it it's replace only essentially so yeah there you go uh, I'll try and leave a link for the other couple videos on how to get this repaired because some other people have done some good videos but yeah this is our problem with two of these units so new pump okay, so time. back to the princess auto and managed to get a pump and the wacky ass hose connectors that they couldn't find for me we're gonna try running off there running this off a little higher than six volts which i already know works machine is set up here we have fire i think Oh yeah, we got heat back there, and water is hot to the touch. Ow! Yeah, it's it's hot. Oh, I just 
just fired again. You can see the burner. Yeah, and it goes over temp real quick here, so maybe I'll turn that down. I've got a thermometer. Maybe it was just set too high, or... But she does appear to be working. Wow! Yeah, so... You want to turn the... Turn the water off, and we'll crank that off. But yeah, pump working, and we have heat. the other one. Nothing. So I think this one's got a dead fuse. We're getting nothing out of the other one. So get the water heater here. Uh, the fuse location is inside this little box here. It is covered with a little seal, which uh, I just grabbed some needle nose pliers and managed to grab onto this top corner and pull the whole fuse and seal out. This fuse is done. This little guy uh, says four F four L two fifty V. So four amp, two fifty volts. So uh, battery is hooked up with. Uh, I found a five amp in my parts bin. So we have life. Yeah. No problem. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, it's over 10 here again. Oh, that's hot.